homolateral Lisfranc's dislocation fracture. Deceleration injuries with hyperflexion of the plantaris muscle and abduction lead to the frequent dorsolateral Lisfranc's dislocation. The homolateral form of dislocation, according to Quinu and Kuss, predominates with 68% against the divergent and isolated form of dislocation. On the X-ray, the second metatarsal bone is abducted in relation to the axis of the intermediate cuneiform bone. The model shows the key position of the second metatarsal bone, with toothing between the medial and the lateral cuneiform bones. The reconstruction of Lisfranc's joints alignment must therefore always begin with alignment of the second metatarsal bone. The dorsomedial incision, reconstruction of the base of the second metatarsal, alignment and transarticular fixation. This is followed by the reduction and transarticular fixation of the first metatarsal bone and the third to fifth metatarsal bones, using the 3.5 mm cortex screw as a positioning screw after strict subperiosteal dissection and alternating the retraction of the soft tissues. In this exercise, we will use the quick coupling for K-wires, the triple drill guide, the small wire cutter, the double drill sleeve 3.5-2.5, the 3.5 mm tap, and the small countersink with T-handle, the small pointed reduction forceps, the depth gauge, the small hexagonal screwdriver, a scalpel and forceps for the removal of the rubber skin. The mechanism of dislocation in the homolateral form of Lisfranc's dislocation fracture is easily demonstrated on the dissected foot skeleton. Extreme abduction and forced hyperflexion of the forefoot result in a dislocation of the metatarsal bones dorsolaterally and subsequent instability of the entire Lisfranc's joints. In order to simplify the exercise, a simple shear fracture of the base of the second metatarsal bone is chosen instead of the frequent butterfly or Y-shaped fracture. After K-wire fixation, the entire ray is anatomically aligned with the second cuneiform bone. Anatomical reduction and preliminary fixation with the small pointed reduction forceps. Two one millimeter K wires are placed distally and the second metatarsal is anatomically reduced to the second cuneiform bone. Temporary fixation of the reduction with a lateral 1.6 mm K wire with threaded tip. Central tangential drilling towards the second cuneiform bone with the 2.5 mm drill bit and corresponding drill guide. Tangential countersinking for a better position of the screw head. The appropriate length for the cortex positioning screw is measured. With correct drilling, the screw must be between 30 and 40 millimeters long. Tapping along the entire length. and insertion of a 36 mm long, 3.5 mm cortex positioning screw. The temporary K wire is removed. The two 1 mm K wires are cut below skin level. Reduction of the first ray and temporary fixation with peripheral 1.6 mm K wires with threaded tip.
Central tangential drilling along the longitudinal axis of the medial cuneiform bone. Countersinking, depth measurement, tapping, and insertion of the 46 millimeter long cortex positioning screw. The temporary K wires are removed. The same procedure is performed on the third metatarsal against the lateral cuneiform bone. Temporary K wire fixation, drilling, countersinking, depth measurement, and insertion of the 3.5 millimeter cortex positioning screw. Anatomical reduction of the fourth and fifth metatarsal bones to the cuboid. Temporary insertion of only two lateral 1.6 millimeter K wires with threaded tip. In the fourth ray, the 3.5 millimeter cortex positioning screw is also inserted along the longitudinal axis of the metatarsal bone. A stab incision at the base of the fifth metatarsal bone for the insertion of the cortex positioning screw at an angle of approximately 45 degrees against the axis of the fifth metatarsal bone shaft. The entire Lisfranc's articulation line is now anatomically reduced and stabilized. The preoperative radiographs of a clinical case, comprising a lateral view and a dorsal plantar view taken with the X-ray tube inclined 20 degrees codocranially, shows the malalignment in the dorsolateral direction. The postoperative radiographs show the correct reduction and alignment of the fixation using 3.5 millimeter cortex positioning screws. These screws will be removed eight weeks postoperatively.